G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, whenever I think of screwdrivers, I think of these sort of things, you know, with a whole range of various sizes there, different ends, Phillips head and flat blade, basically. And that's what I'd normally reach for, you know, most of the time. And if they aren't big enough, well, I go bigger. So here's some more bigger ones. You can, you can beat on these as well. So, you know, it's horses for courses. You wouldn't use a, a great big screwdriver like that on a on a small screw or, or top screw. So, you know, these heavy-duty ones are, you need a heavy-duty screwdriver. But for the small stuff, yeah, there is an alternative to using the, the old twisty grip type ones and the hand ones and uh, I'll show you what uh, Banggood have sent me today. So here it is, it's an electric screwdriver, no less. Now I've never had an electric screwdriver in my life. I have looked at them and played around with them, you know, when they've been demoed at stores and they're okay. I mean, I was, you know, sort of mildly impressed I suppose. I can see a big advantage with them if you say we're doing a lot of repetitive work, you know. And uh, anyway, I'd never bothered over the years to buy one. But anyway, Banggood offered me this one to check out, and I thought, yeah, why not? Let's have a look at it, see if these things are any good. You know, I was always a bit sort of dubious as to how much power they had, you know. When you're doing it by hand, you can put as much wrist <laughs> load on as you want, but. Um, this one supposedly is electric and you could also use it manually, so yeah, it sounds good. Works brand's been around for quite a while, in Australia anyway. And, uh, okay, let's open up the box and see what's in there. Well, I've got to say, it certainly comes well protected. This is the box that it was delivered in. This is the box that was in the box that it was delivered in. And this is the box that was in the box that was in the box that it was delivered in, so that's a lot of boxes. So anyway, yeah, now we'll undo this one and get to the bottom of it, see what's actually in the box, in the box, that's in the box. Okay, moving on. Okay, so this box is plastic, and before we look in here and see what goodies they've sent me, we'll look at some screen grabs first off to show what should be in the box. So check this out. Okay, so now it's the green unveiling. Da da. Yeah, and we got a little booklet. Mm -hmm, Chinese. Mm -hmm. She's all in Chinese. Oh well. Better use your uh, your text translator to read it. But I mean. Really, we're talking about a pretty basic, simple device, and I don't think it's going to be very hard to work out what it all means. So we'll toss that aside. Plus also the description on Banggood's site spells out a lot of stuff as well. And we've got here a little work um, board thing that you can measure out stuff on. That's quite nice. So you'd use that for cutting on. I wonder why they've given us that with a drill. I can't quite understand that. These are the sort of bases that you would actually normally cut paper and stuff on, you know. So you can just run a knife along it. Hmm, not quite sure why that's there. But anyway, never look a gift horse in the mouth. Mouth. So we'll put that aside for now. So here are the main items in the box. Obviously, there's the, the drill unit. And then we've got some standard bits. You know, the Phillips head and uh, 
Ooh, get these out. It's actually pretty well packaged. Well, it's alive, so it's got power. So yeah, quite a good box actually. I mean, it's, it's not too bad. It's, um, yeah, quite well done. Oh, they're marked as well. There's that. Pretty good. Yeah, I like that idea. And then we've got, uh, I mean, there's the standard um, hexagonal drives that you have on these sort of things. And there's an extension bar there. So if you've already got this stuff, and I've got heaps of this stuff for the hand job, you know, I've got the full sets of this stuff. I mean, but it's always nice to have some others, and they look pretty well made. Like they, they look very good quality steel. It's not you can certainly tell by looking at them, you know, and they look like they're made out of the right stuff. So I think they'll be okay. And then here's a, a drill. So even though these are very slow rivetting normally, I mean, this is probably only going to do I don't know what does it do, 250 rpm or something like that. You can drill small holes with them. I mean, metal particularly, you know, a slow speed is good with metal. Not so good with wood, but you know, for plastic, metal, low speed's okay. So anyway, um, yeah, nice. Good stuff. And here's the, the unit. And it's metal. I like that. It's not plastic, you know. How many times you've seen these and they're, they're plastic. This is, this is this is good. Yeah. Whoa, she's got power straight out of the box. Forward, reverse. Here's the torque setting. Apparently, when you plug it in and you charge it, and it charges through a a USB port, which is the same size as you have for mo mobile phones. So you could use your mobile phone charger in the car or off your computer or whatever. You don't actually get a, a charger with this. It doesn't need it. It basically just, you, re you just rely on the USB cable and just go with that. So, yeah. Mobile phone chargers aren't actually all the same. Yeah, what's that one? Is that right? That doesn't look right to me. No, that's the right charger. It's just that that's a different port to what I've got on my mobile phone. So yeah, depends on your mobile phone whether or not you can use the charging cable that you use for that or not. Mine's smaller than that, so I can't, but it doesn't really matter because you just plug this in the computer and go anyway. So yeah, and then when it's charging, apparently it lights up as it gets the charge into it until it gets to maximum and then she's fully charged and then you know that uh, it's time to use it. Hmm. Okay. I don't know whether or not it actually stops charging when it gets to full charge. It's, uh, well, something I'll have to try and read in the instructions and see what they what they actually mention, if they actually even do mention that. So yeah, looking good so far. It's nice, nice size. It's, it's not puny like some of them are that I've seen. It's got a good weight to it. It's got flats on it so I can't roll off the bench. I like that idea. That's good. And there's no, you know, nothing really plasticky about it at all. Everything's rubberized, even the end, and it's, uh, yeah, it's waterproof. Oh, it's not waterproof, but it's, it's you know, got a good rubber cap on it and that. And what else we got here? Hang on. Oh, we got lights. Look at that. We have got LEDs that light up. So they go on and they stay on for a while. And presumably they just go off on their own after a while. Hmm. How good are they? Bit hard to tell, isn't it? Anyway, better than nothing. Oh, there you go, they turn themselves off. Yeah. Not super bright, but 
I mean, if it was a dark spot, I suppose they'd be better than nothing, wouldn't they? Yup. So here it is with some regular screwdrivers, just for comparison. You can see how you fit that in your hand. And this is much bigger, I mean, <laughs> you got a good grip on that baby, I tell you. Very good. Yeah, impressive. Yeah, a lot better than a standard handle, really. So, okay, next thing to do is charge it up and then try it out and see if what this baby can do. I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how it looks, it's can it do the job. And we'll soon find out. Okay, moving on. So here it is charging off the desktop computer. And you can see it's nearly up the full charge. Top bar. It was on the middle bar when I first started it up, tried it out the box, so it was about half charged. It's about what you expect. And it's just a matter of wait for that, I suppose, wait for that to stop flashing, and that would mean it's then fully charged. You notice that you can't use it while it's charging. And the main reason, main reason being, of course, that the USB cable won't carry anywhere near enough power to run this thing. And uh, you just have to wait till it's fully charged or charged enough uh, that you can go on with the job. But you can't run it off the cable. I don't expect you can run any of them off the cable, quite frankly. Okay, moving on. Okay, now the way the torque setting works is like this it uh, is changed with this little button down the end here so it's maximum middle bottom but then it goes off very quickly but then when you press the button it's remembered the, the last setting so that's how it works so if you want to go to middle even though it's gone out when you go to use it, you're back on middle again, and the same with maximum. So you pick it up, you don't know what it is, but it's remembering. And there it is, it's working that way. Right, now the, the manual says it does a 250 RPM. So I've put some reflective tape on the, on the tip here. And I'm going to read it with my meter and see what it actually does do. Three hundred and sixteen RPM. Three hundred and twenty. So it's doing the same speed for all of these settings. Yeah, three hundred and twenty. Oh, interesting. I was expecting it would run at slower speed to get the lower torque. So I don't know how it's doing what it's doing. I mean, it's spinning at the same speed for all three settings. So the power difference isn't being done mechanically. It's, it's being done electronically and it's not just the motor speed. It's basically, it must be changing the voltage and amperage configuration in the unit. Now this has a a 20 volt battery, even though the unit is 3.6 volts, the motor is 3.6 volt, the battery is 20 volts. So to get the, the different torque settings out of that motor, there must be varying the amp voltage relationship to, uh, to cover it, I suppose. I don't, I don't see how else they're going to do it. This has probably got an epicyclic gearbox in it, that's what they normally do on these sort of things, they have a faster spinning motor and then it drops down on a reduction gearing in the in the head. I've got a uh, a die grinder, it's about the same size as this, which works the same way, so I'd expect that's how they do it. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's try a Phillips head screw, what are we on? We're on maximum. If she would go in. Wow. 
That's got some mumbo, I tell you. Ooh, that screw's hot. Just gonna hang on to this baby. Yeah, that was on maximum. Ooh, that screw's too hot to hold. Wow. Let's go down to middle. Try it again. Gee whiz, wow. That really generated some really heat. Yeah, too much. So it will shut down when it gets under too much load. Then we go up to full bore again. Wow. I like this. Whoops. So hang on to it. So you can you can unscrew it. Whoops. Impressive. You've really got to hang on to it with both hands though when it's under a big load like that. So yeah, you really want to, that's probably why they got the extra length there so you can actually grip it to drive screws in with it because those screws are too hot to hold, ouch, just from the friction. <laughs> so no worries about power, this thing's got oodles of power, amazing. Let's try a really big Phillips head screw. This is a PK screw. This has been drilled. I mean, it's not, it hasn't got a pointy head, so it has to be pre-drilled, and this has been pre-drilled, as it turns out. So, if we... Wow. <laughs> She's a... Amazing little thing, really got the goods, I tell you. <laughs> Let's try drilling in some steel, see how it, how it goes. Because you can get a full set of this type of um, drill from Banggood as well, which I, I may ask to review it uh, next time around, maybe, I'll see. But uh, I know they've got a, a set of drills that go from Oh, I don't know, one mil up to about six mil, I think, with these ends. So that'd be a good investment, I think, so. Wow, it's a great electronic screwdriver, I've got to say. It's very, very impressive and it's, yeah, leaps ahead of what I looked at years ago and certainly very, very powerful and useful bit of gear. Now, to give you quite a bit of stuff here to get you going, but of course you can buy lots of different Torx type drivers, you can buy whole sets of them. And with, there's only one thing in this whole kit, this whole set, that I wish was there and isn't there, it's missing. And that is one of these. That is a hex drive, same as these, but to a quarter inch socket set. So if you have one of these in the set, 
or if you haven't got one in a set, go and buy one because then once you've got that, not only can you drive screws, torque screws, drill holes with this, you can also drive sockets like this and you can get maximum value out of it. That's the one thing that's missing from the set, this little uh, adapter which you can buy, you can get them you know, around the place. But it should be in the set. And if that was in the set, well then, yeah, you'd be set to do this, 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 screws, drill holes, the whole, the whole range. But uh, at the moment, that's not there. So unless you buy it, you can't use sockets on the set. It will, however, drive sockets no problem whatsoever. I had to play around with it and yeah, awesome. So there you go. Uh, I think it's a great little kit. It's uh, worth every cent of the money. It's easily the best electric screwdriver I've seen. It's certainly very well made. Yep, it's going to be pretty durable. The only thing I've noticed is when you Turning it by hand, you've got to be careful you don't accidentally knock the the forward reverse switch because it's in the same sort of area, you know. But most of the times you wouldn't be doing that anyway. But apart from that, the overall design is, is pretty good. And yeah, it's certainly a, a well-made piece of gear. Very very little run out. There's, uh, there's no slop in the drive mechanism whatsoever. Some of them can be quite sloppy, but that one's really good. And, yeah, awesome, awesome bit of gear. Well, that's about it for this review. I'll put the link in the video description so you can check out the products, see what the price is in your neck of the woods. And I'll also put a link in there to the Banggood site uh, where they've got the quarter-inch drive uh, to hex uh, drill drive that I showed you that was not in the set. You can buy them separately. They're very, very cheap. So, yeah, I'd buy one of those for sure. If you're going to get the, the screwdriver, grab one of those drive adapters as well and you'll be good to go. Okay, that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Cheers.